Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Latif Sharif with Rise Time, and today's topic is subscribing to RSS feeds in SharePoint. What is RSS? RSS, or Rich Site Summary, or another name for it is Real Simple Syndication, is a format for delivering regularly changing web content. Many news-related sites, weblogs, and other online publishers syndicate their content as an RSS feed to whoever wants it. Why RSS? Uh, what are the benefits and reasons for using RSS? Well, RSS solves a problem for SharePoint users who regularly need to stay abreast of their particular sites. It allows them to easily stay informed by retrieving the latest content from the SharePoint sites that they are interested in. And also, it saves time by not needing to visit each site, document, library, or list individually. Before we begin, let's quickly discuss what you will learn today. One, you will learn how to ensure that RSS feeds are enabled for a site. Two, you'll learn how to subscribe to RSS feeds within your browser. And three, you'll learn how to subscribe to RSS feeds within Microsoft Outlook. And lastly, you'll also learn how to set up RSS feeds for a public-facing SharePoint site. Let's get started. This team site called Acme Company Site. This team site has the following in the left navigation bar. Sites discussions, documents, and a list called forms. The main goal for me is to subscribe to these lists so I can stay abreast of any new items or artifacts or content that's posted to this site. Now before we actually begin to subscribe to the feed, we want to ensure that the site is enabled for RSS feeds. So to do that, we go to Site Actions and then Site Settings and then under the site administration column we want to click on RSS and here we can see that this site is in fact enabled for RSS let's go back to the main site now that we've ensured that this site is in fact enabled for RSS feed let's go ahead and subscribe to a feed from one of the document libraries Let's go to the document library called Acme Client Forms. When I click on the document library, I can see that this document library currently has three documents. All the user has to do to subscribe to this feed is go to Actions, then scroll down to View RSS Feed. They are then taken to the feed page called Acme Company Site Acme Client Forms. When I click Subscribe to this feed, a pop-up box is displayed requesting me to find a place for this feed. Currently, this is set to the Feeds tab under the Favorites menu. I can place this feed inside the Feed tab directly or choose one of the folders from the list below. I can even create a new folder and place the feed inside there. Let's go ahead and put the feed under the Microsoft Feeds folder. Once we select where we want to place this feed, a confirmation page appears letting us know that we have successfully subscribed to this feed. Now let's confirm that we have in fact subscribed to this feed. Go to Favorites, then click on the Feeds tab, and then in the Microsoft Feeds folder, we should see the Acme Company Site Acme Client Forms feed. There you have it. Success. Next, I'm going to show you how you can set up your RSS feeds within Microsoft Outlook. If Microsoft Outlook is not the default aggregator, no worries. It's simple. All you have to do is go to your Microsoft Outlook, and on the left pane, scroll down to click on the RSS feeds tab, right click, and then scroll down to add a new RSS feed. Outlook will then require that you enter the location of the RSS feed you're selecting to add. No problem. Let's go back to the RSS feeds page for Acme Client Forms and on the right side of the page we'll click on View Feed Properties. We should pop up a Feed Properties box and right there on the second row is the address. Simply double click, copy, 
and we'll just click OK here and go back to your Microsoft Outlook and simply paste in the address and click Add. At this point, Microsoft Outlook will ask you for a confirmation. Let's click Yes. And there you have it. The Acme Company Client Forms feed is now populating inside this folder. And you can see that all the items within that document library are being populated into this feed. Next, I'm going to show you how you can enable RSS feeds for a public-facing SharePoint site. I've created a public-facing site here on, our, on my dev machine just to give you an example of how you would be able to do this. Now, enabling RSS feeds is very useful for frequent visitors that commonly visit your site so that they can be alerted when new content has been added to your public-facing site. What I've done here is simply created a content query web part, which is this right here, which is pulling from a pages document library within my public-facing site. As an administrator of this site, following are the steps that I'm going to take to enable RSS feed for this site. First, click on Site Actions and go to Edit Page. Second, I'm going to find the web part for which I want to enable the RSS feed. Let's go with this one here called Content. Click on Edit, Modify Shared Web Part. And on the right, I'm going to see five different options. A query, Presentation, Appearance, Layout, and advanced. Click on the presentation tab and scroll down until you see a section called feed, which is this right here. I'm going to select this checkbox to enable the feed for this web part. Now I'm going to give it a title. Let's call it content and daily content. Okay, so I've given it a brief description. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, clicking Apply is also helpful if you want to be able to view changes you've made to a web part. In this case, all we're doing is enabling RSS, and we don't really have any visual modifications. So we'll just click OK. And specifically for public-facing sites, we always need to publish our changes prior to the changes appearing on the actual site. So let's go ahead and publish. OK. So there we have it. There's a small RSS logo on the right corner of this particular web part. All our public users have to do is click on that logo, and they'll be taken to the subscribe RSS feed page we saw earlier. That's it. We're done. So, to recap, in this segment, you learned how to ensure that RSS feeds are enabled for a intranet or collaborative site. You learned how to subscribe to RSS feeds within your browser and within Microsoft Outlook. And you also learned how to enable RSS feeds for a particular area of a public-facing SharePoint site. For more information about RiseTime, please visit us at www.risetime.com or call us at 312-362-9930. And for more information on our training offerings, please email us at training at risetime.com.